Now that we're finished with that closing paragraph, we're ready, we're ready to go back and do some revisions. So what I'm going to do for you today is to model for you how to do those revisions, how to go back and change the content so that we're communicating well with our reader. Automatically, I noticed when I was looking over this, I said bad leaders do bad things. <laughs> bad is a, a pretty elementary way of saying things. Uh, so I want to just, I want to improve the language of word choice, look at the sentence structure, make sure my content fits, and if there's any extra things that I can add, I will do that now. So what I'm going to do during your vision is I'm going to read out loud. Revision is actually taking what's there and making it better and focusing on it individually. So we'll focus on the opening paragraph individually from the first body paragraph. Now, I will only model my first body paragraph that I uh, drafted a few lessons ago, but you'll actually do this for every single one, and you'll take a couple of days to do that uh, because we want you to improve your writing by focusing on that revision. Now, a lot of students read over and say, oh, that's good. No, I want you to watch what I do, and this is what I want you to do for your um, assignment today. So watch as I do some revisions here. All right, first of all, I'm going to read my opening sentence and make sure it says what I want to say and that I like the language that's there. The sentence structure is great and uh, uh, make sure it's exactly like I like it. I would understand more fully the events of the Holocaust if I were to travel to that point in history. Hmm. I think I could probably insert something here and say, I would understand more fully the events of the Holocaust and the effects on the people. That adds some extra information there that makes it a little bit more powerful. I would understand. Now, I, let me say this to you real quick, because what I'm going to do is every time I make a change, I'm going to go back and read again. Do you know why I do that? It's because it gives me a complete understanding of exactly what it is that I'm trying to say, and I hear it as it flows together. So by the time I get down here, I'm rereading re a lot. I may stop and just jump to here and do it, but I'm still going back and reading every time. I would understand more fully the events of the Holocaust and the effects of the people if I were to travel to that point in history. Our history books tell facts about events such as the Holocaust, but nothing would be better than actually being an eyewitness. Um, I think I'm going to start this sentence with while and make that a dependent clause. While our history books reveal instead of tell, that would be better, reveal. While our history books reveal facts about events, hmm, reveal facts, um, let's include and statistics, that would be great. statistics. While our history books reveal facts about events and statistics such as, uh, while our history books reveal facts about, let's change this and statistics to go here. That was wrong. While our history books reveal facts and statistics about events such as the Holocaust, Nothing would be, I have to take out my uh, conjunct, uh, coordinating conjunction and comma there. Oh, I need, still need the comma. Nothing would be better than actually being an eyewitness. Nothing would be better than actually being an eyewitness to historical events. I think that's better. While our history books reveal facts and statistics about such events such as the Holocaust, nothing would be better than actually being an eyewitness to, his, to historical events. I would be able to hear, see, smell, and feel what is going on there. I would be able to see, hear, smell, and even feel what is going on there. How about I tell what the there is? Feel what is going on with, who were those people that were there? With the innocent victims and the misguided soldiers. Now I have a little bit of history. I, I understand a little bit of the history of the Holocaust. That's why I'm able to include this. Because the innocents were vict uh, victims were innocent. 
and the soldiers were misguided, and the leaders were malicious, misguided soldiers and uh, the malicious leaders. Instead of wicked, I'll use malicious. I would be able to see, hear, smell, and feel what is going on with the innocent victims, the misguided soldiers, and the malicious leaders. Now, isn't that much better than the word there? Most definitely, the reader understands more what I'm trying to say. Even though this would be a terrible event from which to gain sensory images, I would be able to bring back real life understanding and become a primary source of information to those around me. Yes, I would be able to bring that back, that real life understanding, and become a source of information to those around me. I would love to share and present what I learned by traveling back to the time of the Holocaust. And instead of saying I would love to, I'm going to change that to be able to because love is almost a little bit yeah, disrespectful to that time. I would be able to share and present what I learned by traveling back to the, in, t in time, traveling back in time, I like that better, in time to the Holocaust. which could help people, no, which could help, hmm, which could help, how about if I change that, which could be a help to those who want to understand how horrifying this event in history truly was. Now, I hope you're definitely making double space, uh, drafting your drafts with double spaces, because uh, mine is kind of messy since I don't have space to do that. Wow, so I need to go back to my second detail and read from there. Even though this would be a terrible event from which to gain sensory images, I would be able to bring back a real-life understanding and become a primary source of information to those around me. I would be able to share and present what I learned by traveling back in time to the Holocaust, which could be a help to those who want to understand how horrifying this event in history truly was. In the end, I would hope to gain a better understanding myself of how bad that's not what I want to say. How about wicked leaders do not bad, um, hmm, terrible? How wicked leaders do terrible things and how every human being has a right to not be controlled by such wickedness. Yeah, I like that. I think that's perfect. So that is what uh, actually going back and revising looks like. My content was powerful. So I didn't need to change the content, but I just added more to my sentence structure. I was a little more detailed in all of my writing. I checked the word choice and uh, definitely changed one of my sentence structures. So now you're ready to go and revise each paragraph. Make for sure you revise the opening, cl uh, closing, and all three body paragraphs of the essay. Uh, take some time to do it. Be slow about it. Reread, reread, reread as you're making those changes to make sure you're getting a feel of what that sounds like. And read it out loud. There's nothing more powerful than reading out loud. There's something about hearing it that makes it easier. Don't read it under your breath or silently. You need to read it out loud. So off you go with your revisions.